Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin of the National College of Ireland and in this short video I want to show you how to embed a YouTube video into a PowerPoint presentation. In this short video we'll first of all find a YouTube video that we want to use. Next we want to modify the web address for that YouTube video so that we can use it in our presentation. We want to follow this up by using a simple step-by-step -step procedure for embedding the YouTube video into our presentation. And finally we will run the presentation itself. So let's say I'm preparing some lecture notes or some class material as normal and in this particular instance I'm preparing some content for a class on ethics at work. And I want to start the class off with a simple video that I can find on YouTube. Videos will be interesting to, the stu in, to students. We can embed them to save time and we'll avoid switching around from application to application, avoid creating bookmarks and so on. So let me switch over to YouTube for a second and let's say I've searched YouTube and I have found precisely the video that I want to use. Now on subjects like ethics at work there are plenty of videos available in YouTube that you might use. Over on the right hand side here you can see that there are two pieces of code listed. One of these is called embed. Now even though the title of this presentation is uh, embedding YouTube videos into, present, into PowerPoint, I'm not going to use that code that's there. The code I need is the URL just above this. So I've highlighted this here and I want to right click on that and copy that which is going to give me the web address to run this particular video here. So let me switch back to PowerPoint for a moment and I'm going to paste this web address in here so that you can see it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Bold and hopefully then you'll be able to see this on my screen here. So I now have the web address uh, for the YouTube video that I need to watch. Now I could just use this and run my presentation as follows. And when I switch to um, uh, the m mode for showing the PowerPoint presentation. If I move my mouse over the button, I can click on the link as a normal link and it will launch the video as you would expect. Now this means you have to have browser windows open, it means that you have to uh, have everything ready, it means that you have to uh, ensure that your browser is working fine with this and of course there's the possibility for errors and so on as you're putting in the web address. So how about if I wanted to put the actual video in as a little window inside in my presentation slide here. So let's show you how to go and about do, do that. So I'm going to keep the web address up here because I'm going to use that in a moment. Next what I need to do is anywhere up here in the toolbar in the top of PowerPoint just right click and the third option that usually shows up is called control toolbox and I need to select that. And when that happens I see a little control toolbox appearing on my screen like this and down at the bottom there is a more controlled option I'm going to select that option now. And when you select that option lots and lots of more controls appear you need to scroll down until you see one called shockwave flash object so let's select that and when you select that your mouse changes into a little cross like crosshairs here so what I'm going to do is use this to draw a box here and this is where my video is going to appear. When I let go of the mouse button we can see that we have a box in our position with an X um, across the diagram that we see here. Now we're not done yet, there's a couple of more things that we need to do. So this is my flash object and now I need to tell this flash object where the YouTube video is. So first of all, let's, uh, here's how we do that. We right click on the flash object anywhere at all on the inside in the box and select the properties option. And this will show me quite a, um, a detailed shockwave flash uh, window listed over here. And there's lots and lots of stuff in here but you don't need to pay any attention to it other than the one called movie right here in the center. And this is where we need to put in the web address for our YouTube video. Now if we co simply copy in the web address that I've used already, uh, nothing will happen. This just won't work in my video. So I need to make some changes here. So let's go back to our code here for a second. And there are plenty of videos on YouTube which will show you how to do this. So I'm going to edit this by taking out the watch and the question mark. And then I'm going to replace the equal sign with a forward slash. And this is the web address that I need to use for my video. So now I'm going to copy that, the modified web address. And I'm going to switch back over to my properties window. You can see that the properties has changed to the slide. So I need to go back to my shockwave flash object over here. And down in the movie box, which is empty at the moment, just simply select the box and paste in the new modified URL for the YouTube video of your choice. You can now close down the properties that's saved in there. We still see the um, uh, box with the red X placed on it here. Now if I run the YouTube, run the presentation, um, the video, a still from the video, will appear in my computer screen. All I need to do is click the play button 
and the video will launch as planned. I've turned the volume down on this video, okay, so that you can hear it. Stop the video there, and you have a YouTube video now running in your PowerPoint presentation. I hope you found this um, presentation useful. Thank you for your attention.